guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. And today we are making this super cute deer cake. It's got that really nice like whimsical vibe to it and it's inspired by those unicorn cakes that are so popular now. I know we've all seen like 101 unicorn cakes at this point, but have you ever seen a fawn cake before? If your answer is yes, then I can't help you there, but this cake I think is super cute. I love how it came out. I saw this on Pinterest actually, and I'll do my best to credit the artist's name right over here, but I thought it was so cute that I definitely wanted to recreate it on my channel for you guys. But before we get started, if you have not subscribed already, then make sure to do so because I would love to have you. And without further ado, let's get started. First of all, in a large bowl, you'll just wanna add in three cups of flour. Then throw in a half teaspoon of baking powder, along with a half teaspoon of salt, and then a half cup of cocoa powder. And I'm just going to whisk that all through. Then moving over to my stand mixer, I'm just going to add in two sticks of some nice soft butter. Then scoop in a half cup of shortening. I know it's kind of uncommon to use two kinds of fat in a recipe, but it does give it a really nice texture. I've also added in three cups of sugar there. This is definitely not like a diet recipe, but it is a delicious recipe, so I'll guarantee you that one. But once you've got that mixture nice and light and fluffy, we're just going to crack in five room temperature eggs. Then I'll add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract and let that all mix through. At this point, we're just going to add in half of our dry ingredients and let those get nice and combined and stand back if you're wearing white. Once you've got that good to go, just slowly add in a cup of milk. You do wanna add this in nice and slowly, just to make sure it doesn't splash all over you. And then once that's combined, you can probably guess what's coming next, we're gonna add in the rest of the dry ingredients. Now you're gonna need two six inch cake pans that have just been greased and lined with parchment paper. And I'm gonna scoop my batter into the pan. Once you've got that scooped out, just spread it out nice and even. And you can bake those off at 350 for about an hour. It does take a little while, but I promise you it's worth it. You're also gonna have a good amount of extra batter, so I recommend making some cupcakes, or you can see here I'm just making these mini cakes. And if you're curious, I just bake those off at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Cupcakes are probably about 20 to 25 minutes. But once your cakes are out of the oven, they should look something like this. After they've cooled for about 10 minutes, you'll just wanna flip them out onto a cooling rack. And you can see these slide out so easily, and that's because of that parchment paper on the bottom. If you want your cakes to never stick in the pan, parchment is definitely the way to go. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you'll know that I hate leveling off my cakes. For some reason, I can never get it perfectly even, but today it was not so bad. I think it's because these are a little bit sturdier since I did let them chill in the fridge to let them cool completely. So that's a good tip to make your cakes a lot easier to level. I did almost cut my finger off there though, but the cake still would have been fine. And now it's time to assemble our cake. I'm just grabbing some buttercream frosting here and I'm gonna press down my first layer. Then we'll swirl on some more frosting for the center and spread it nice and even. Now that that's good to go, we're gonna pop on our second layer of cake and we're gonna move on with the crumb coat. A crumb coat is basically a nice thin layer of frosting that's gonna lock in any crumbs. This part is always super easy. It doesn't have to look perfect or anything. The goal is just to have the cake fully covered and do your best to make it even. Once that's ready, we're just gonna pop it off into the fridge for about 15 minutes just so it can firm up a little bit. And then we're going to move on with our final layer of frosting. To start off, you'll wanna pipe on plenty of frosting, and I mean like way more frosting than you think you're gonna need, and you'll see why in just a little bit. Then I'm just gonna spread out this frosting just so it covers the whole cake. You could leave it like this if you want a really like rustic, kinda hairy looking beer, but we're gonna go for a flat finish. So I'll just grab my cake scraper and just run this along the sides of the cake. Now the reason why we started off with such a thick layer is so that we can scrape it off nice and even. If you had started off with a really thin layer of frosting, you're more likely to get a patchy finish because there's not a whole lot to scrape off then. And then you can just smooth the top with your offset. And for the face, I just added on some really simple fondant decorations. To make these, you literally just roll the fondant into the shapes. It's not super exciting, but it gets the job done. Now I'm just gonna grab some darker brown frosting and just pipe some shells around the edge of our deer. 
And now we're gonna pop in some little flowers that I cut out of fondant with some cookie cutters. Then I added in some leaves too, also made of fondant. Moving on to the final details, we're gonna need some antlers and you can find the template for these over on my website. But I just cut them out of some gold glitter paper and we're gonna tape them onto some skewers. At this point, just pop these right into the cake. I promise you guys we're almost done. The final touch is just to add on the ears. I'm using some more of that tan buttercream for this. The reason we're using buttercream is because it's really hard to match the fondant color, so I think it's a lot faster and easier to use the frosting. And the final, final touch is just to add on those fondant triangles for the ears. And now our beautiful deer cake is finished. This is so worth all the effort that you put into it, and I just think it's perfect for the springtime. Alright guys, our deer cake is finished now and I think it looks so beautiful. It's got that really whimsical vibe to it and I just love how it looks. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you did and then also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can also check out my brand new Etsy shop and I'll leave a link to it. I think it's over here but maybe it's over there. It's in one of those two places but you can check it out if you love some cute stickers. You can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats and then check out my website over at KawaiiSweetWorld.com for the full recipe and I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye guys!